Well, today we're going to have a very special episode. We're playing my hometown club, South Shields, away from home in the FA Cup. What are the chances of that? Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2019. I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part four of season one of the Journeyman with Darlington. And in today's episode, we take on South Shields, my home club, uh, in the FA Cup. I can't believe it. Um, and we're also playing FC United in the Vanarama National League. Since you were last with us, we haven't actually played uh, that many matches. We just played the one uh, against Stockport County, and we lost that 1-0, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, you know, I wasn't going to play this FA Cup match, but uh, it, it's my hometown club, um, which, you know, I'm, I'm very proud about. You know, they've had three consecutive promotions. They're now in... Um, the league below the Vanarama National uh, North, so it'll be interesting to see whether they actually go up this season. Perhaps South Shields could be a club we do in the journey band this year. Who knows? Um, but uh, that would need, need them to, to move up a division. But uh, you might recognise some names in there. Ben Harmison, former cricketer, Steve Harmison's brother. Um, he plays for... South Shields, as does Matty Pattinson, uh, although I think he has actually left now, um, but uh, he has been at, at South Shields, uh, obviously played for Newcastle and Norwich back in the day, um, so, you know, they've got some fantastic players, a lot more than, than that's on here, and obviously Julio Arker used to play for them as well, um, but they've done all right to get here, they beat Barwell. Uh, they beat our broth in uh, pre-season 3-0, that's ab absolutely crazy, and they could beat us today quite easily, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a look at the team for today. Got Madison in goal with Trotman, uh, Collins, Mohamed, and Galbraith. Elliot Wheatley in the middle with uh, Souza, uh, Nicholson, and Ainge, um, sorry, Souza, Nicholson behind Ainge, and Steitch up top. I have been uh, reliably informed that that is how you pronounce his name. So I was uh, basically pronouncing his name wrong for three episodes, which, you know, I've got form for it, haven't I? Uh, with Paul Glatzel last year actually being called Pal Glatzel. So, yeah. Um, anyway, let's let's see, see how we do today. Obviously, a, a bit of a poor performance against Stockport County last time out. So I am expecting a bit of an improvement against... Uh, the Mariners today, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what their quality is uh, is like because they've got real players. You know, it, it, we're not playing grade out players like you usually do against teams at this level. Uh, they've obviously been well researched. Um, Matty Patterson only left a couple of weeks ago. Something to do with uh, with family problems. Uh, he, he wants to to move a bit closer to his family, so that's absolutely. Uh, understandable, but uh, that's a good ball forward towards uh, Gillies into the middle, and Shaw's saying South Shields are one nil up, and it's difficult because I really do want to see South Shields do well in this game. Um, but yeah, I, I go past this stadium every single day on the metro. Uh, it's just past Bead Metro Station um, on, on the Tyne and Weir Metro line. John Shaw with the goal and the one nil up and. Yeah, this is quite realistic. Uh, Mariners Park is always packed, uh, which is absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness, they nearly went 2-0 up there. Um, but if the, there's a side I, I ever want to lose to in this year's journey, man, it's South Shields. It's absolutely crazy that uh, we're playing them today. On, uh, I honestly couldn't believe it when I did the draw. Uh, I think I was on the, on the phone to uh, TIJ at the time and I think I just I, I, I just dropped dead with uh, with shock and just excitement to play South Shields, but uh, it obviously doesn't mean as much to you guys. But um, it it is fun. 
for that to be uh, to to happen in the game so early on, four episodes in. Uh, but we're one 0 down at half time, so in all seriousness, we need to we need to sort this out. Uh, so, I mean, Stitch isn't having the best of games, so let's bring Thompson on for him. That that that's the big problem that I've got at this club at the moment. I don't really have a lot of options, uh, you know, if things are going wrong, and that's just going to be something that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to have to uh, bring in some players over the the, the coming weeks and months. Uh, and, and just try and change it up a little bit. We definitely need a new striker. Still in the market for that. Nobody's popping up on my scout report, so that's the the big problem I've got. Uh, but we're now 65 minutes in, and, and Shields are still ahead. Uh, we're going to have to go attack and make another change. Uh, David Sears can come on for Joe Wheatley. He can do box to box, which is good. But yeah, we've got ten minutes left, and and you know we haven't actually created a chance today, which is is disgusting. And we're gonna go out of the FA Cup. Ben Armisen's come on. Got three minutes added time here. Are we gonna get a replay against Shields? Hunter gets it away now. Here's Nicholson. Nicholson on the ball gets it into the middle. Angels there. Oh, it's a great save. Walsh is there. Oh, how did we miss that? Dylan Morse gets it away. Oh no, he is right, gets it forward. Inge on the ball. Madison all the way back to the keeper. Nicholson, oh dear. Galbraith gets it forward, he has Hunter and it is full time. We're out of the FA Cup, but as I said before, if there's anybody I don't mind losing to, it's South Shields, but it is disappointing to go out of the FA Cup in the third qualifying round. The board aren't going to be happy. So a couple of changes for this match against FC United then. Collins uh, moves to right back. Johnny Byrne comes back into the side and Ben O'Hanlon starts on the the left wing back role. Uh, we've also had to bring in Harvey Saunders up top, unfortunately, uh, in place of Reese Stitch. Now, I do just want to bring your attention to uh, the sort of uh, the scouting business and, and just show you what I'm up against here. There's not really that many uh, players out there that, that we can get hold of. I mean, the, there's this guy, Terry uh, Gornell, who I've, I've been trying to, to get in, but they just want too much in terms of wages. I don't want to be giving three, four hundred quid a week to, to these guys who are unproven at this level. So it, it, it's tough. It really is tough this uh, this year so far to, to actually find somebody that that's half decent. You know, there there is some some decent strikers in there round and about. Uh, Robbie Parsons. Let's have a look at him for example. He's never played a game in his life, so it, it, it's it's difficult. It really is difficult. So um, yeah, I think we we are under pressure. Certainly to. Uh, to try and find that special somebody, I've got I've got scouts in now, which is good. Uh, I've got chief scout setting some uh, scouting assignments and stuff. So hopefully we'll we'll get some reports in throughout the season and, and we can make some signings later on for for a bit of a push. Uh, apologies about that, but uh, yeah, I mean I've still got the remnants of a cold, so I think I'm allowed to sip of my tea every now and then. I'll never forget somebody's comment last year about uh, saying, um, saying, uh, oh, I don't want to listen listen to you uh, drinking your tea on a video. Unsubscribe, and it was, yeah, it it, it stopped me drinking on on videos for a while. In fairness, but uh, you know, I think, I, I think it's up to me what I do. Yeah, but uh, anyway, let's let's move on. He has Madison. He gets it forward. Towards uh, our players who win yellow socks today. I don't think we usually wear yellow socks, but I think it's because uh, FC United are, are wearing black socks. But here's Nicholson on the ball. He's pushing forward. Good ball to Saunders now. Here's Wheatley. Wheatley all the way back to Collins now. Collins all the way back to, to, to Madison. That was very reminiscent of England at the World Cup. Here's Saunders. Now Ainge. Back to Wheatley. This is a good little move here, Elliot. Now Wheatley. 
Nicholson. Simon Inge, oh, and that just went wide there. That was close. That was really close. And now I've got me Coke Zero, so, you know, you're getting all my drinks today. I just, I, I don't know, it's the back end of a cold, and, and when I talk for a prolonged period, it, it gets really dry in my throat. And uh, it's it's difficult to talk without coughing, and I'm, I'm trying to avoid spluttering all over the microphone. But uh, I'd, I'd say we have been the better team so far. Certainly we've been the only one that's really had any chances. If we look at the stats, it looks quite even there. We have had more possession though, which uh, I, I guess is a stat to say we've been playing better. Just clutching the straws here. Where are FC United? They're down in 18th place. That's ridiculous. They were a really good side in last year's game. I, 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 oh, what has just happened there? I was hearing a buzzing noise from my, my right-hand side, and I missed it. I think Jordan Nicholson has just scored a screamer, though. Yes, he has. Oh, look at that. Look at the curl on that. And, and Yeah, the keeper should be doing better, but who cares? Who cares? We're 1-0 up. And that is really, really good. That moves us back up to 8th and just outside the playoffs. But uh, Hereford are, are running away with it at the moment. Uh, and then only three points uh, behind second place now. Which is, is Boston United. Another team from last year. I think we're playing them in uh, the next match. You can hear how dry my voice is getting here. My eyes are watering as well. This is awful. Absolutely awful. But anyway. here we, I can still hear that buzzing. Is it me phone? No it's not. I think it's the the hub. I'm rather worried that I'm I'm gonna blow up on camera here. Uh, but yeah, we we have won that match against FC United. I didn't expect that, but uh, certainly a good victory nonetheless. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. Really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe for daily FM19 videos and daily dry throats and colds and all of that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.